Okay, my wife and I are on the hop on hop off bus in Penang, Malaysia. What's the date today? 13, 14, 15, 16. I think today is the 17th, 17th of March, 2016. My wife here. And we're going to do the hop on hop off city bus tour, Penang, Malaysia. As you can see over there, there's a temple. Oh, you want to give him some money? And this is the uh, this is the start of the tour. So my wife and I are just starting the hop on hop off bus tour of Penang, Malaysia. There's my wife getting comfortable in the in the city. They call it the city route bus, the city route hop on hop bus, off bus. And we're at stop number six, which is where we're starting. And that's this uh, Chinese temple here bit of an ancient Chinese temple and um, I don't I don't know what it's called but these Chinese temples are very very decorative I don't know how much you can see inside there but whoa the bus is starting to move okay Just, we're heading off into the Penang traffic so I'll just keep filming for a little bit just so I can get a bit of an idea of the city of Penang Malaysia. As you can see there's lots of shops here. I don't even know what road this is but as you can see there's lots of shop houses as you're driving along and there's plenty of uh, plenty of traffic Yeah, it looks like we're going to get stopped at every tra traffic light. I guess that's pretty normal for a hop-on, hop-off bus. Okay, we're hanging a left. Oh, look at these old houses, these old buildings. Aren't they beautiful? Really old-style buildings. They've really preserved it well here in Penang. I have no idea where we are because this is my first time to Penang so I'm not familiar at all with the neighbourhoods ok we're hanging right down here oh look at that old house there wow imagine living in one of them I'd love to have those front seats, but the ladies have already got the front seats. It just looks like a government building over there. This is one thing Penang is famous for. And it's not just Penang, but even in Kuala Lumpur, Malacca, Singapore. These little shops with the little five foot pathways out the front of the shops. And again, these old preserved old buildings they have in Penang like this one here and if you look down the streets you see all the buildings are all sort of old and preserved and over here another really old old preserved building oh they're moving I might move up to the front oh, are you taking photo And here's my wife sitting in the aircon. She's enjoying the aircon. Well, where I'm out here in the hot sun doing all the hard work, filming. Okay, we're on the move again in uh, the Penang Hop On Hop Off City Bus Tour. And once again, wow, look at this, all the people eating on the street down here. It must be a pretty popular food store, that one. This is common in Penang, all the people, the way they eat on the sides of the streets. And once again, these beautiful old preserved buildings around Penang. Oh, look at that, that's a nice one. Oh, we're hanging a ride. 
apparently we're heading to a market and me and my wife would like to do some shopping at the market Look at these, all these old preserved, oh these are the backs of people's houses. They're actually the back sides of people's houses. Oh, don't you love the old buildings? I think we just did a lap and we've come back to where we've almost started. One thing you notice here in Penang, there's a lot of Chinese shops. Apparently the Chinese, it seems like there's more Chinese here than there is uh, Malays, which is really quite unusual for uh, Malaysia. And there's the Kong Ta Tower. Our hotel is just behind that. So basically we've just done a little bit of a lap at the moment and we're stuck at the traffic lights again. Okay, we've started again and just love these old buildings. Yeah, we already went past here. We went past here five minutes ago. Okay, continuing on our hop on hop off tour of uh, Penang. This shopping center here, Prangan Mall, the hotel we're staying at is on the other side of that mall and so uh, basically we just seem to be going around in little, little circles around the CBD so here we go we're off again look at the traffic I never expected Penang to have traffic like this that's just crazy traffic Yeah, the hotel we're staying at is through there, on the other side there. Man, I just never expected Penang to have this much traffic. It's supposed to be a small town. It's, it's out of control. I always had the impression that Penang was a quiet little town, but it's anything but. It's just chop a block here. Oh, they're all stuck because of that guy. Once again, as you go down these streets, you can't help but admire all the old shop house buildings. And just how Chinese this place is. It's the most Chinese Malaysian city I've been to. Seems like the Chinese run the show. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board the Penang Hop On Hop Off Sito Bus. Our next stop number 8, the World Unesco Heritage Site. This area got a heritage building and 3R area. Around this area you can find a budget hotel, restaurant and Ooh. free art area. Thank you to Kase. We're hanging a big ride down here. Oh yeah, this looks like a little bit quieter neighborhood with beautiful old buildings. Yeah, we're having another stop. But look at these, all these beautiful old buildings in here. Oh, we're off again. 
I like their little backyards they've got here. House, the houses have got these tiny little backyards. Hey, some bloke on the pushy. Ah, oh, here we go. Look at this, a beautiful old. What's this? Oh, that's a mosque. Yeah, it looks like this is the heritage part of town, which is what he said. There just seems to be more buildings here. Yeah, we're back on the move again. I think we're about to hang a right down here. Whoa! Oh, here's an old Chinese temple here. I don't know how much of a view I can get, but there's a bit of a temple in there. And then down on the corner here, that looks like looks like a mosque. I might be wrong though, but that's what it looks like. Then again, it might be a temple of some sort. And down on the other corner here, you've got another, another big uh, old colonial style building. And again, we're stuck in the traffic. Oh, check a look. Have a look at this old building. That looks like it's been there for a while. What one? So we're heading, I've got no idea where we are, just somewhere in downtown Penang. Again, as you can see, lots of old buildings. There is a area where we're heading to stop number nine, Clay Jetties, this area of Penang Ferry, several Tanjung City, Marina Anjong, Clay Fair, Clay Jetties, and Ray Penang Terminal City Bus. Okay, we've made our place, our way to a place called Chu Jetty. Welcome to Chu Jetty. And it's no bikes, no motorcycles, no entry, it's walking only. It's uh, apparently a UNESCO site and it's the There's my wife over there, standing over there at the Chinese temple, which is the entrance of the place. And according to this sign here, Chu Jetty. Chu Jetty, an old Chinese waterfront settlement, is the largest and most lively jetty in Penang. You can barely see that. But it's like a neighborhood that's been built on the water get a lot of these old houses eh and this is the front of the Chu Jetty area over here the entrance that we just walked into and down here there's a dragon boat come down here and have a look at the dragon boat we'll go down here and have a look at this uh, there's a, a dragon boat here oh and there's a toilet which is very handy and there's an old dragon boat with some sort of a museum. So we're gonna go inside and have a look inside here. I don't know what this is. Toilet. But there's a toilet here, so that'll do. But yeah, this is a, um, looks like a, a model dragon boat. And I'll head to the loop. So here we are at the Chu oh, yeah. Jetty. The uh, jetties in Penang, which are basically a tourist destination now. They're all very touristy, a lot of shops everywhere. As you look down this way, it's all touristy and lots of 
uh, shops but the houses are really quaint and everything is built on the water the jetty is built on the water all the houses there's my wife is pretty hot I mean literally hot sweating hot I mean dragon. over there there's a dragon boat over there there's a dragon boat and this whole area is built on the water and it's just basically it's a traditional Chinese neighborhood on the water but now it's a um, it's a real tourist haunt with the, yeah, no, there's the poles the houses are built on. It's made of wow. Look. Hey? Hey, look at buckets. Look at the buckets. Yeah. There. Some of the poles consist of buckets <laughs> full of cement. <laughs> Why? Imagine having a house built on that. But this whole neighborhood now is just all touristy. You walk around, there's just nearly every shop's a tourist shop. Over there is the main jetty that goes to the mainland of uh, Malaysia. From Penang Island. Anyway, we're going to go for a walk down here, and then we're going to hop back on the tourist bus. Okay. So we just left the jetty area. Jeff just left the Chinese jetty area of Penang, and just head heading around on the hop on hop off bus. It's stinking hot outside. Terrible stinking hot. I reckon it's 35 degrees plus. So we're just going to sit inside the bus because it's just too hot outside to be walking around. bus driver's got a job and a half getting this bus through this traffic. I'm glad it's him and not me. So we're stuck in traffic again. Our bus driver's successfully negotiated the traffic. Oh, we're heading to the old clock tower. And again, we're just stuck in traffic. So now this is the um, historical clock tower. It doesn't. It doesn't actually work. And then behind the clock tower is Fort Cornwallis, which was built by the British a long, long time ago. Oh, this neighborhood is the Esplanade down near the beach. say this is the nicest neighborhood in Penang because most of Penang is so overcrowded it's uh, this area is actually a little bit pleasant okay we're hanging a left at least you can see in this part of town you've got all of the old uh, big, big colonial buildings I've been here for hundreds of years oh there's a church
here in Penang you seem to have a lot of Catholic churches and Catholic schools. Like, uh, I think this one is here. thing about Penang, at least the streets are nice and wide. In Malacca the streets are really thin, but here you've got nice wide streets so you don't have much in the way of traffic jams. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at stop number 12, Blue Mansion. Thank you. Now we're right down the seaside here. I don't know where we're headed to now, but we're riding along the seafront somewhere. Man, look at that old building over there. We just seem to be driving in, uh, just outside of the CBD, but I don't know where we're heading at the moment. Well, there you go, they have a, ba a Baptist church in Georgetown. Georgetown Hotel. That's a nice KFC. Not a bad building for KFC. <coughs> and here's the Wesley Methodist Church. Since 
Gee, I'm surprised at the number of churches here. There's a lot of churches here. these big condominium buildings so it looks like a um, bit of a tourist area get out of the CBD and you get into the suburbs of Penang it actually seems quite reasonable but in the CBD it's just so crowded uh, this neighborhood is obviously an upmarket neighborhood but these big condominium buildings everywhere and it's right next to the beach off for now and come back when we, when we find ourselves in a, a bit more picturesque neighbourhood. Okay, we've made it down to the beach. I don't know what beach this is, but it's, uh, it's not that beautiful. I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I'd be going swimming out there. Pretty ugly. It's obviously all hotels along the seafront here.
Oh, no, that's a big light. Okay, we're on the move again. And this is definitely an upmarket neighborhood in Penang. I think this is where we're headed for our next stop. We're headed up to that temple. We're climbing, climbing up a hill to get there. And we're making our way through a fair bit of traffic to get there. Beautiful tropical neighborhood, I'll give it that. It certainly is a nice neighborhood in this part of town. But every hundred yards is a traffic lights. Yeah, this seems like a much nicer neighbourhood in Penang. Much more upmarket. Bigger yards, nicer houses. This neighborhood seems to have a lot of Indian buildings with Indian writing on them. And they've got some nice houses. Look at their houses. Very middle class houses, just like Australia. Still climbing up a hill at the moment, so the bus is doing hard work. But this is definitely a nice neighbourhood out here. Much nicer neighbourhood to hang around in. Okay, the Indian temple is somewhere up in the hill there. Uh, we're not going to get up there. But they're also saying it's a botanical garden. So this is a botanical gardens neighborhood. But there's also a big Indian temple on the side of the hill. So you can see monkeys running around.
the reflection off the window. I think it's damaging my recording. Oh yeah, here's a nice, um, another temple area. There's another temple here. So there's a lot of Indian temples in this neighborhood. And you can see there's a lot of Indians living in the neighborhood. And we're back at the traffic lights. I would say this neighborhood is a good 20 k's out of the CBD uh, up against the hills. Look at that, there's a cemetery in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a cemetery in there. And this is definitely a middle, middle class neighborhood, quite well off. Beautiful wide streets, beautiful big houses. They got these trees that basically go over the whole road and uh, they cast lots of shade. That's a St. George school. Yeah. Looks like a private school, St. George. I've noticed a lot of the schools here are uh, like Catholic schools. Looking back up into uh, 
St. George's School. Big school, big ground. the hospital can hang the show. No, I don't think that's a hospital. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Gee, they got some nice parks in this part of town, I'll give them that. That's the hospital on the left side. It must be the dry season here because everything's really brown. It must be the dry season. But there seems to be a few schools in that neighborhood so that's why they've got a big soccer park nearby. big school because it's got a big park. Other suburbs of Penang are definitely a lot nicer than in the city. You got beautiful two-lane roads, trees up and down the roads. In the downtown area of the city it's just way too crowded. But this is beautiful out here in the suburbs. What's that? That's the, uh, looks like the horse racing track. Penang horse racing track. Yeah, there's a Penang horse racing track. Right up against the hills. Penang, Penang Turf Club. We're headed for a bridge, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we'll uh, we'll bypass the bridge. Yeah, I think that's the bridge uh, going to the mainland of Malaysia, off Penang Island. Yeah, I think this is the bridge that goes to the mainland. Are we the only ones here? Well, two people at the front, but we're the only ones inside the air condition area. Yeah, that's a mod. 
Big mosque over there, I don't know if you can see it very good from in here, because we're inside the bus. You probably can't get much of a view of it. Uh, from inside the bus you can't get a real good view. What's this over here? That can't be a school, can it? Maybe that is. Chinese temple with a market. suburbs of Penang. They're very comparable with Australia. When you look at the um, you know the quality of life people out here are living. They're, de they're definitely not poor. neighborhoods. <laughs> oh, stuck at the traffic lights again. Yeah, they've got some pretty high hills up here. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, no. We're now at Penang Hill and this is where you catch the train going up the side of the mountain and there's the railway track and the railway track goes all the way up there. It is unbelievably steep. And the railway track goes all the way down. And this is basically the Penang Hill train station. But that railway track, that is unbelievable. Oh look, there's one coming down. There's one coming down. That is unbelievably steep. It looks like it's almost straight up and straight down. That's just freaky. I don't know what that looks like on video camera. Yeah. Yeah. That looks nearly straight up and straight down. That's crazy. So that's the Penang Hill train stop. Look at all the people there, there's people everywhere. I don't know. I don't know, Bukit Bandera is a suburb, but there's a lot of people there. I just can't get over how steep that railway line is. That's just, that's just, that is freaky. I don't know what sticks the trains on. 
there is a one which is. But that is really, yeah, really yeah. steep. For a single trip, only for the sightseeing. Okay. Yeah. And for the five ringgit, you can hop on and hop off. Okay, because we were also thinking of taking the beach one. Example, I'm just waiting to see if there's another train going to come out. You need to go to stop number one, yeah. and then you just into the beach. But can we buy a single one for that one? Yeah. Because you already have the yeah. United yeah. States. But gee, it's very popular, I'll give it that. There's a lot of tourists hanging around here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it that. I'm just waiting to see if there's another train gonna gonna come up. But uh you need to hop off at There's a, there's a train going up the hill now, but we're going to turn around, we're going to miss it. Well, I just can't believe how steep that thing is. That's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now heading to stop number four, Catlock Sea Temple. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we're going over to that big temple over there. That's massive. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of uh, shadow reflection off the window here. There's another, another big Chinese temple. But we're about to go to a, a Chinese temple, which is absolutely massive. Lots of uh, stalls on the side of the road as usual. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a bit of an army memorial of some sort. So we're going to take a U-turn here. It looks like a war memorial of some sort, but I don't know what. Yeah, we're going to get, there's a big Chinese temple up here, a really huge one. Oh, yeah. Anglican Church, Chinese Anglican Church. Now this is a small temple, this one. There's an Indian temple just there. But that's a small one compared to the one we're about to go to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can see it when we get around the corner. Yeah, yeah that massive one. Oh, yeah. It's just going to get behind the building. Oh, there's a police station. This is a nice neighborhood. Yeah. It seems uh, a little bit jam packed, but. Oh, stuck in the traffic again. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a bit of a tight street, this one. You flat out put two, three cars on this street. And that's where we're headed. We're headed to this giant, giant temple. Wow. But getting there in the traffic sounds the fun. Yeah. Kekloxi. And there just seems like a lot of markets in the neighborhood around this temple. Mm. And there's the beautiful mountainside. So I got some beautiful countryside out here in the outer suburbs of uh, Penang. Get over here so I can get a shot of the temple. Yeah. I'll get a move over here so I can get a shot of this temple. That is a massive temple. I haven't got a really good shot just where I am, but. That's a massive temple up on top of a hill. Maybe if the bus moves a little bit. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're moving. Okay, bye bye. Oh. Come on, jump in here, right? Eh? <laughs> I don't know where we're headed now, I think we're going to get head back into the city. longer left on this trip it can't be too much longer because it's only two more stops back to where we where we started but it seems like there's another Catholic church it seems like we're a long way out of the city though Yeah, I think it's lunchtime by the time we get back into the city. Yeah, wherever. But this is, yeah, this is out in the suburbs. The outer suburbs of Penang. Traffic lights again. Yeah, 
once again we didn't move very far and we got stuck in traffic lights again. I think we're heading back toward the city. That looks like a Chinese private school there. these houses with their little backyards. Just small yellow houses with little backyards. I just think they're so, just so nice. There's the mosque there, get a better view of the mosque on this side of the road. Oh man, how far we've got to go back into the city. And there's the mosque there. Pretty big complex. I don't know, I can't see the buildings. Six. Uh, we're, we're stopping at number six. Um. Oh, I can see the city now, it's just over there, I can see it. I can see the city in the distance, so it's not far, and we're finished this trip. <coughs> Gee, there seems like a lot of schools uh, <coughs> out in the suburbs out here. These neighbourhoods are starting to look a little bit more like uh, a bit more like getting back into the city. You got the little shops with the five foot footpaths.
like a stadium there of some sort. Ah, oh, here we go, traffic. City traffic. Okay, we're on the move again. We're getting closer and closer to the city. You can tell by the closer you get to the city, the, old, the older the buildings look. <laughs> Yeah, I know, they don't look very safe. They look like they're ready to fall over. They've been there for like hundreds of years. traffic now so you know you're back in the city yeah we're getting back into the middle of town now you can tell the movements really slow the buildings are really old <laughs> the Comtal Tower, that's where we're staying just next to that so we're nearly home this looks like a nice mall here, whatever this is oh that's Times Square Mall Okay, now I stop number five, Times Square. Thank you. Okay, ours is the next stop. Ours is the next stop, so we're almost back to where we started. We've nearly made it back home, back where we started. What time is it? 120 so basically it was a four hour a four hour journey for us to get all the way around um, all the way stopped, around Penang we stopped, we stopped. yeah we stopped off at two places and did some shopping and walking around we didn't stop three hours yeah. oh there's our hotel there's a ho there's a hotel right there the big white one that's where we're staying So once we get off this bus, we've got to work out how to get round to our hotel. It's the same spot that we have here. Yeah, yeah. But again, we're stuck at traffic lights. But that's where we're staying, just there. So there's our hotel there, the Hotel Gen. That's where we're staying. And we're just about to get off the bus. There's the Comtar Tower. I can't see it really good from here. But we're about to get off the bus just down here, which is where we started four hours ago at the Chinese Temple. So we've done a full circuit of Penang uh, 2016. Goodbye.